I built a hundred houses and then gave them away. In this video, chill, J Jimmy, chill. All right, shout out Jimmy Donaldson, man. This man just does anything, bro. <laughs> this man literally w does everything. How much money do you think it would cost to build a hundred houses? Probably around fifty k of just materials to build the houses. So 50k times 100 chat. 5 mil. We're building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that reaction. <laughs> she is freaking out. <laughs> These are nice houses. These are actually nice houses. I always want them to have a bunk bed. I'm a dream come yes. true. And this is just the first of a hundred houses we're Whoa, giving away. First. <laughs> I'm glad they're happy. Let's go give away another house. With every. <laughs> I like the little. I like the little bow that he added to the house. It really, really makes the house feel like a home. Every single home we're building in this video, we're. Bro built an entire fucking village. How much money do you have, Jimmy? Fuck! Proving quality of life for families who don't have a safe space to call home. And we spent millions of dollars just on this video building these houses. Because here in Jamaica, they're... The fucking... The Twitter people? Um, Mr. Beast literally posted a video of giving away 100 houses. Why did he not do a... Uh, fucking 200 houses and why did he only do it in these locations instead of these locations that need it more shut the fuck up currently over half a million people living in unsafe life-threatening conditions like this next family whose house is so unsafe and unstable that it could literally collapse on them at any given moment so you built this place yeah by yourself yeah i brought boards and all materials they see but we're on top of a mountain so you carried all this material up this mountain yep on my head, head. Wow. We knew we wanted to build this family a house. So we sent them on a mini vacation so that we had enough time to work with our partners to build them a brand new home. You're about to witness a family that lives in this house. Go Damn. Go to living in this house. And I cannot wait to see the look on their faces. Oh my. <laughs> what you are looking at is your brand new home. The trip we sent you guys on was just a decoy so we could have time to build this brand new house for you. You want to see the inside? Come check it out. Whoa. <laughs> we noticed that you guys might need some new. Dang, bro. It is sad to think that, like, a lot of the world doesn't have the privilege of, like, shelter. You know what I mean? Hidden, do you have anger issues? No, I do not have anger issues. I was just... I'm, I don't have anger issues. Where did he send them? Uh, I don't know. Fucking over yonder. Mr. Beast tells someone to do something. They're probably going to do it. The, the chances of someone saying, um, Jimmy Donaldson, I don't, I, I don't think I will uh, go over there where you told me to. I don't think I will. If Jimmy Donaldson said, hey, um, can you uh, take a hike? Take a hike with no water, no food. Take a hike. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking taking that hike. I'm taking that hike. I'm, I'm, I'm hiking until Jimmy says, okay, time's up. Here's a million dollars. And then that's when I'll be like, okay, thank you new furniture so we completely furnished your new home now on top of electricity you have a water tank for running water we put bunk beds in this room for two of the kids oh my and if you go across the hallway you'll see your bedroom mm, nice with a little crib because i heard you had a newborn tyra that's your crib it was been really hard and you guys changed my life Here's officially the deed to the house. Thank you guys so much. And it sucks, but some of these places that these families live are extremely unsafe and in some cases life-threatening. That's where this family currently lives. The mom was telling us that that roof doesn't work. Whenever the rain fall, the whole place flooded all over here. Her kids get soaked and can't sleep. And as of today, that will not happen again. We built that brand new home for you. Here's the keys. Oh my God. <laughs> 
I got a new os. <laughs> I wonder how he does it. I wonder how he just like. Like imagine his team. He's texting his team. All right, so on this on today's mission, we're going to have. We're just gonna have a hundred houses built, okay? So you you four go to fucking Jamaica, build a house, right? You ten go to South Africa and build like two or three homes. It doesn't matter. Here's my credit card. Here's fucking a hundred million dollars. You go to fucking India, fucking five houses. I want five houses in India, and and fucking you know what I mean, like. Like what? What? What's his like? What's the plan? You know what I mean? What's the What's the plan? What's the game plan for for an average Mr. Beast video like this? Cause he's not there just fucking hammering the fucking house together. He's not. He's not there until the house is fully built and he's ready to give it away. He is not there during the process of the entire the entire house being built. He's literally just here's money. Build this house there you know what i mean fucking jimmy man but of course this was just the beginning we he finds areas that are densely populated i mean are these places even densely populated what does it mean densely populated you mean like hella people in crammed areas so like you know what i mean and hires people to do his shit. Well, obviously he hires people to do his shit. What do you think he's there fucking hammering nails into all hundred houses in these fucking multiple different continents? Like eighteen people in one home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's definitely multiple workers, like like anywhere from like ten to like twenty five workers building one house, and he built a hundred of them, which means that he had twenty five hundred workers. Dude, fucking what in the world? Like I I, I still can't comprehend the things that he does and people will still find a way to get upset over it too we were able to build home after home for family jamaica's got houses with 20 people living in each yeah like that yeah that fucking that makes sense and that's literally crazy he's in jamaica and we weren't gonna stop until we had built 100 houses but unfortunately at our next destination there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes every year you see during rainy season this river flash floods washing away all the homes and anyone unlucky enough to be inside and as you can see there's literally a fridge right there which i assume got there because their house got swept away exactly so you're saying when this floods those houses that currently have families living in them could potentially be destroyed yes they will well not on my watch because just a couple of miles away we've built rows of new houses for this community god so damn this home 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 there's a lot of homes so we started with maria and her daughter whose previous home was completely demolished by the river during rainy season and without even a bed to sleep in every single day has been a struggle for them okay. ten tacos with the rain Yo, W10 Tacos in the chat. Thank you so much for the raid, bro. I appreciate it. Let's go. Thank you, 10 Tacos. That means a lot. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a follow you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. That means a lot, dude. I appreciate that. Let's go. All right, and since they don't speak English, can you translate for them to turn around and look at their brand new home? Puede darse vuelta. Aquí está tu nueva casa. Ay, Dios. Gracias. Gracias, padrecito lindo. Bonito. Gracias. No problem. Come check out the inside. Oh. Do you guys ever find it interesting that Mr. Beast has like no like that like I know it's like like dude, I don't want to say he has no emotions, but like dude, like He's always like in character. They're like, "Oh my god, thank you Mr. Beast." And he's like, yeah, let's go check out our new home. Like, it's like, like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, it's like, fuck. Come on. Come on. In this video, we're going to be, you know what I mean? Like his, his fucking YouTuber accent just pops out everywhere. Like anytime he speaks. And while walking through their new home, we realized they didn't even know their house was free yet. Oh, you haven't. It's because he does this all the time. It's nothing new anymore. Yeah, that's also what I think too. It's like if someone's gonna be like, 
like the way I feel about like doing something nice for someone, like let's say I feel generous one day and I and I fucking offer to pay for someone's food, like you know what I mean? Like, you you know what? I'll get the bill. I'll feel good for a while. I'll feel good for like I want to say like three to five hours. I'll feel good about paying for someone's meal, right? If I bought someone a fucking house, I would feel good for at least 10 years. You know what I mean? Like, this man is constantly, like, sleeping well knowing that I did good. You know what I mean? But, like, at what point do you just, like, constantly feel that way to the point where that feeling is actually numb and you're just... Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Do I look like I'm, I'm not? I'm literally, I'm literally, I'm literally not crying. Told him it's no, free? No. Yeah, tell him. It's free. No van a pagar. Todo esto es suyo. Ay, gracias, padre. Congrats on the new home. Ay, papito. Why are you ducking my question? Oh, what flavor Asian are you? I'm team Vietnam, v Vietnamese. Um, I'm flavored Korean. I'm a Korean flavored person. Um, yeah, shout out, shout out all my, all my Hanguk Sarams, all my Vietnamese. Bro, you're crazy. Homie said yummy. See, for not telling me it was free. Me puedo costar. Si, se puede costar. Ay, voy a dormir. What do you think of it? Me puedo dar un abrazo. What'd she say? Can he hug you? Oh, of course. Gracias. This is why we do videos. <laughs> Imagine. Can I hug you, Mr. Beast? <laughs> no. You can't. You can't hug me. <laughs> you, you're, I, I don't want you to hug me. Pick a random number under 3K. Pick a random number under 3K. 1,264. Like that. Look how happy they are. I don't want you to have to worry about the river anymore. This is your brand new home. Enjoy the new home, little man. We heard they had a newborn, so we also got him a crib. <laughs> I got you a house. <laughs> Last one to leave the house gets a million dollars. Yo, 10 tacos for the 1,264 bits. W10 tacos in the chat, yo. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Damn, gang. Should have went higher. Have a good rest of your stream. I'll tap in again soon. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yo, W W10 Tacos in the chat, yo. Everyone W10 Tacos in the chat. I don't know why TTS didn't go off. I'm sorry. I don't know why it didn't go off. I'll figure it out though. I'll figure out how to get it to to work. But um thank you, 10 Tacos. 1K pennies. It's actually 1,264 pennies. Uh which means a lot so thank you so much i appreciate that man see that row of houses behind me with the families blindfolded in front of them we are not kidnapping the families we're giving them all houses at the same time eight families lives are about to change forever attention everybody remove your blindfolds and turn around and look at your brand new home hey. congratulations <laughs> hey gracias por la casa jimmy those comments. Mr. Beef is littering. Mr. Beef is ruining the fucking environment with the confetti. Mr. Beef is fucking ruining the fucking environment with the fucking confetti. So much for giving away a house if you're gonna fucking kill the fucking ocean and the trees. Fuck you. I gotta go down. I need to see the reactions. <laughs> Mr. Beast only gave 500 houses. Why not a thousand? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Fucking Beast. What the fuck? A hundred houses? <laughs> if I had your wealth, I'd be giving a thousand. Fuck. Pussy numbers. Then something just snapped inside of me. No, no more. That's it. I don't care anymore. I don't care about... Okay, yeah, I'm not reading all that. What the fuck is that? What do you think of the new place? <laughs> Congrats. Hi. Do you ask them if they like their new house? Me gusta su nueva casa. Sí, sí. Yeah, you like the new house? Let's see if they do. Sí. Oh my God. 
Gracias. 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 Yeah. Gracias. I hope you like it. And now we're at the end of the row. What do you think of your new home? Muy bien. And this is my buddy now in Florida. Come over here. I have something way better than just a picture. Do you ask him if he wants to play football with me? Te preguntas si quieres jugar fútbol con él? Yeah. Well, that's convenient because not only are we giving this community houses, but we're also giving them this giant soccer field. And the best part is I have hundreds of kids waiting over here. We're going to surprise them. And this is the neighborhood's first look at their brand new soccer field. Let's play some soccer! Enjoy your new soccer field. Go have fun! Last kid to leave the soccer field gets $50,000. You kids want $50,000? Don't leave the soccer field. Oh, but I'm hungry, Jimmy. I'm hungry. <laughs> Sounds like to me that you don't want $50,000. But Jimmy, I miss my family. Then leave. Then leave the soccer field. You want a feastable bar? I'll give you a feastable bar. <laughs> English or Spanish. And of course, a new field had to come with brand new soccer equipment for all the kids. Make sure you guys have a lot of fun on the soccer field. But I don't know if the soccer field was enough because... <laughs> fucking... Fucking... The fucking kid... The <laughs> bro needed to make sure he went home with multiple balls, bro. This fucking kid, bro. Leave some for the rest, bro. There's this kid that doesn't have a ball. There's this girl that doesn't have a ball. This kid don't have a ball. This greedy motherfucker took all three. Greedy bitch. Fuck. Fuck. You greedy fuck. Taking three. Not one or two. Three. All the kids Is that four? Started demanding feastables. <laughs> this fucking kid jumping around with all these balls in his system, bro. Alright, here's some feastables. They're children? Yeah, they're children. Greedy ass children, bro. Fuck. This kid has two balls in his hand. Give one for each person. They really love feastables here. I will start carrying more feastables. Feastable, mejor que her cheese. I swear to God, I thought that said jalapeno flavor. Y'all feastables, y'all y'all feastables, so I could promote my chocolate company, or <laughs> oh yeah, yell yell feastables, so I could promote my chocolate company, or else <laughs> I'll take your home away. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> All right, guys. In the next scene, we're gonna have you guys chant feastables. Um, Mr. Beast, I don't want to. I guess you don't want your home anymore. Feast apples! Yeah, that's essentially how I assume it went. I don't know what he said, but if he said it tastes good, then he's correct. <laughs> but of course, outside of this community, more families across El Salvador were in need of safe housing. So on our way out, we built as many houses as we possibly could. But we're only halfway there because a small community in Argentina also needed our help. And we built house after house to ensure that every single child in this community had a safe place to learn and grow. But we still weren't done. So we even flew all the way over to Mexico, where we continued to build house after house for all of these communities. And when we arrived in our next destination in Colombia, we found a community whose homes were ravaged by a brutal windstorm. The next family used to live in a house like this. I say used to because a tornado destroyed it. And clearly these houses are in no way livable. And so, of course, we built John and Anna a brand new home. And now all we have to do is give it to them. This family has no idea they're about to get that house. How does he convince these strangers to wear a blindfold and just follow a stranger? Yo, if you eat 5,000 of these Mr. Beast chocolate bars, you get $50 million. $50 million for 5,000 chocolate bars is probably the craziest return on investment. You eat fucking 5,000 chocolate bars, you get 50 mil. I don't even think Mr. Beast has 50 mil liquid to just give away. Actually, he might. Honestly, he might. I know he reinvests a lot back into his business, but he might honestly have 50 mil just chilling in his bank account. Or at least like a fucking like fund. You know what I mean? He, he Like, what's his fucking Roth IRA looking like? What's Mr. Beast's fucking Robin Hood account looking like? You know what I mean? But I forgot what I was saying. I lost my track. Oh, yeah. How do you convince a stranger to just fucking 
I'm going to build you a house, but you got to put this on and trust me. Nah, because you can't just say that you're getting them a house. You're surprising them with a the house. Right there is good. Aye. Okay. Take them off. Congrats. I know it might not seem real, but this is legitimately your house. You want to unlock the front door? They're all in shock. And to be honest, I don't even think they believe this is their house. <laughs> they may not be saying anything, but the tears say a lot. Congrats, man. Congrats. This is yours. Bastante. Nosotros iniciamos con una una habitación prefabricada. Nos casamos. But John and Anna weren't the only ones that needed help in Colombia. So you can probably guess what we did for the rest of the community. Imagine he paints the house like, like purple, for example, and he's like, "I just got you a brand new home," and they're like, Ugh, "I don't like the color purple." Um, can you give me like another one, <laughs> Jimmy? I purple's ugly. I want another color, Jimmy. Can you give me a new house? I don't like this one. Now that would only happen in America. So you can probably guess what we did for the rest of the community. <laughs> it shouldn't be a stretch that everyone in the world deserves a safe roof over their head. But not every house we built went quite so smoothly. Uh, I accidentally broke the lock to the door. Their furniture is still outside, which we were going to move in there. The family just pulled up. We put bars on the window, so I can't get in. I don't really know what to do. We're very screwed. All right, guys, uh, the family's here. Looks like we're out of time. <laughs> no, no, you know. Hey, how's it going? Come on over. Okay, so I don't know. I think I broke the lock. I can't get the door open. Here, can you try? Am I? Maybe I'm just dumb. No. Okay. Oh, what? Wait, how did you do that? Yeah. Are we dumb? All right, boys, come on in. And well, personally, I'm not quite the best locksmith. Hey, you want to see it? You totally. They totally haven't seen any of the furniture yet. What mattered most is that Jose and his family now had a place to call home. They don't have to worry about a home anymore. And we also heard their only means of transportation broke down. And so, one more surprise. We also got you guys a brand new motorcycle. Here you go. Thank you. Gracias. No problem. Yeah. Now they have motorcycles are fucking terrifying, yo. Like the amount of people that I know that's gotten into a motorcycle accident is crazy and it happens like often too like i've i've known probably three people in my life no actually two i've known two people in my life that have hopped on a no three i've known three people in my life that's ridden a motorcycle and two of them gotten hurt like bad like one of them broke their leg the other one broke their arm a brand new home and a way to get around and this got me thinking what i've ever driven a motorbike i've sat in the backseat of a motorcycle while i was on the freeway when i was like 16 um which fucking crazy yeah yeah you have to trust that motherfucker who's driving with your life because it's literally your life on the line while giving away all these houses i noticed a lot of people were struggling with transportation and i got a solve in this truck open it up <laughs> We got bicycles for every single kid in this village. No problem, man. And after giving away 99 free homes, we still had one home left to give away. And finally, house 100. Take your blindfolds off and look at your new home. Congrats. 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 What if he just had like a really bad reaction? What what if like his hundredth house, and finally our one hundredth house? Take off your blindfolds. Oh, is that my house? Yeah. Oh shit! Thanks, man. Can can I have the keys? Here are your new keys to your brand new home. Thanks, man. Um, can you get the cameras? I, I don't like being on camera. <laughs> um, thanks for the crib, I guess. Type shit. Um, all right. Uh, you could go now. 
I'm taking that fucking house back, bro. I, I, I'm i taking that fucking house back if that was the reaction. Go check it out. <laughs> shout out to all our partners that helped build these houses. And also, shout out to you guys. Because obviously, if you didn't watch these videos, we wouldn't have been able to build 100 houses. And if the channel continues to grow, I hope to do 1,000 in the future. Mr. Beast, next video. I teach 100 people how to make a million dollars. And then he teaches those people how to make a million dollars. They make a million and he takes 50% of it. And he just has a hundred people constantly shoveling in fucking $500,000 every year to him. $500,000 times a hundred people is like he gets fucking an extra uh, $50 million every year. And then he teaches those hundred people to teach another hundred people. So all 100 people teaches 100 people. So now he has 1,000 people that is taught how to make a million dollars. And then they're all running like a YouTube short scheme and where they all just make a bunch of YouTube shorts and, and YouTube fucking and YouTube videos. And they're all 1,000 people are shoveling. Now it's 1,000 people. So now he's going to get like fucking 5 billion fucking dollars every year.